Hi, everyone. Are you ready for some more stories? Let's see, let's switch the camera so you can see the pictures of the book. This is Oh, What a Christmas by Michael Garland. This is a Scholastic Press book. Ho, 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 what a Christmas. Everything started off the same magical way Christmas always does. Santa and his reindeer took off from the North Pole, loaded with presents for all the boys and girls around the world. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, Santa called out as the sleigh raced across the sky. Then, pop, rip, stretch! The harness that was attached to the, from the reindeer to the sleigh was tearing. Then finally, big bong, and it snapped in two. Ho, 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 oh, no. The reindeer streaked off into the night, and Santa and his sleigh headed back down to earth like, the, like a big, fat, jolly red skyrocket. A snow-covered mountain rose up from the north woods. The sleigh struck the snowy peak, then skidded and slid and slipped and spun right down the slope. Now the sled was going so fast that Santa couldn't stop it. A great plume of snow flew high up into the air and the sleigh tore across the field. Ho, 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 slow, Santa howled right before he crashed. Kablam! right into the side of a barn. Santa wasn't hurt. He just sat there, brushing the snow off and wondering what to do now. The barn door creaked open and a sleepy sheep peeped out. Ho, 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 hello, said Santa. The sheep stepped out into the snow, followed by another sheep, then a horse, then two cows, then a goat, then a pig, and finally, a very old dog. Well, this is a fine mess, Santa's belly jingled as he laughed. Those reindeer must be halfway across the world by now. I can't disappoint all those children, Santa said. I have to get them their presents. Santa was thinking. Suddenly he smiled, and with a twinkle in his eye, he said, maybe you can help me. Santa turned the sleigh right side up, and with a little help from his new friends, all the presents were packed onto the sleigh. And then Santa lined up the animals, two by two in front of the sleigh. The horses, and there's the dog right there, the cows, the pigs, and then the sheep. Santa wiggled his nose and snapped his fingers. Puff, in an instant, flash. They were all attached to the sleigh with a beautiful new harness. The sheep looked a little surprised. Santa sprang to his sleigh, and with a quick little whistle, giddy up, he shouted. And before the animals knew it, up they went. They were flying. Now sheep, now goat, now piggy and cows, on horsey, on doggy. Oh, what a Christmas flight we have now. The once silent night was filled with mooing and barking and baring and neighing and oink, 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 oinking. As they approached the first house, Santa called, ho, ho, whoa, whoa, whoa. They landed with a big thud and a stomp and a thwack and a whack and a whinny. When they screeched to a halt just at the edge of the roof. Well, not too bad for your first time, said Santa, as he slipped down the chimney. 
delivering presents to all of the children in the world was a very big job to do in one night. Oh, they were so far behind schedule. They had to work twice as hard as they usually do. There was barely any time for cookies and milk this year. One country after another, one house after another, one present after another. They finally finished as the morning sun came up over the horizon. Santa was covered in ashes and soot, and the animals were also hungry. Ho, 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 said Santa, with a big yawn and a stretch. You did a great job. Now it's time to get you back to your barn. The reindeer were waiting for Santa as his new team touched down. Ho, 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 what a Christmas, Santa said to the proud little band from the barn. I couldn't have done it without you. Santa let out a big jolly laugh and he took his friends out of the harness and buckled his sheepish reindeer in. I left you a little surprise in the barn, said Santa with a smile. And he hopped up on his sled and with a flick of the reins, he headed back to the North Pole. Over his shoulder, he shouted out to his new friends, Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! That was nice of the animals to help Santa out. And look, Santa left them a tree and some presents. That's, oh, what a Christmas. <clears throat> And how about we read some poems from this new book we have, Mistletoe, A Very Confused Christmas. This was written by Devin Schillen, and the illustrations, the pictures, were done by Marty Kelly. Deck the Halls. Do you know that song, Deck the Halls? The song says I should deck the halls, but I don't know what to do. Where are the halls and what kind of deck? I haven't got a clue. Do they mean a deck of cards, like Go Fish or some other game? The hall that leads to the bathroom? Or maybe the Hall of Fame? Yes, I'd like to deck the halls, but I'm failing this Christmas quiz. I suppose it has to do with Holly, but I don't know where she is. Let's see her hiding. Sugar plums. I'm making out my Christmas list and I hope when Santa comes, this will be the year at last I get some sugar plums. Every year I write it down in letters big and red, sugar plums, just like the ones that dance in my head. What are those things I have to know? Oh, they sound so yummy. I've got to have some sugar plums dancing in my tummy. Are they crunchy or gooey, creamy or tart, big or dainty and little? Do they last all day? Can two people share? Is there a great big seat in the middle? My list this year is one item long. Santa will know who it's from. I trade it all if I could have just one little sugar plum. Johnny Oates ate Nicholas. Johnny Oates ate Nicholas, our dear departed guppy. We weren't happy with Johnny Oates, but I said, he's just a puppy. I guess that's true, my mother sighed, and I thought that that was that. But two days later, Johnny belched, and we couldn't find the cat. Earl the parrot clocked the snake, the guinea pigs poo and tigger. One by one, our pets disappeared and Johnny Oates kept getting bigger. We took Johnny Oates to see the vet. It was a problem, we couldn't deny it. We'd love this dog, my mother said, but we're concerned about his diet. Let's have a look, the doctor said, leaning in for a better view. And Johnny Oates, he opened wide and tried to eat the doctor too. You'll ruin your dinner, my mother said, Oh, but he really loves to chew. The doctor sighed and said to us, I know just what to do. Bad dog, bad dog, the doctor said. 
which we found rather stern. But the doctor said, puppies need a guiding hand or else they'll never learn. The holes in the carpet, the missing shoes, the curtains he'd torn up. Maybe the problem with Johnny Oates is the way that we're raising our pup. So life's much better with Johnny Oates. He's been much slower to grow because cute little puppies will eat anything unless you tell them no. That's absolutely true. Puppies will eat anything. You have to be very careful with them. We three kings of Orientar. I think I have this castle. It's a play castle up in my attic. The, th the wee three kings of Orientar had crowns jeweled and shiny. They constant sl constantly slipped down over their ears for their heads were impossibly tiny. They sat on thrones the size of a thimble like three little royal elves and they never accomplished a single thing. They just bickered among themselves. I'm the biggest, the first would say. Ah, oh, I'm bigger than you by far. That's a lie, said the second one, as he would yell. I'm twice as big as you are. You're a shrimp, hollered the third, and you, you're just a tyke. But the castle cat decided. All three tasted exactly alike. What were those? Do you see the little mice? The Ghost of Christmas Presents. All of the kids are running downstairs. They won't listen to me. But the Ghost of Christmas Presents might be near the tree. I heard about it in a movie, and there's a book about it, too. You open up your Christmas gifts, and a scary voice says, Boo! I don't care what Santa left, tomorrow is soon enough. I don't need some Christmas ghost hanging out with all my stuff. <laughs> oh, holy night. Oh, holy night, what's happened to you? Your chest has a hole and your shoulder does too. For holes in your stomach and three by your heart, oh holy night, you're falling apart. I can see through your tummy and you're missing both knees. Good night, good sir night, you're a piece of Swiss cheese. Retire now and go be a farmer, or at least start wearing a good suit of armor. <laughs> oh, mistletoe. Mistletoe, the soccer star, could kick it high and kick it far. Every kick was just the same, but Mistletoe had lousy aim, and we never won a single game. Till yesterday, it was a scoreless tie. Today's the day, came our battle cry. Our goalie punted it and it came to me and I sent it on with a well-timed knee and Mistletoe was racing free. Mistletoe gave the goal a glance but he never, and he never had a better chance. Their goalie was down, leaving a gap. We knew he'd give that ball a slap, but this one time it was just a tap. We cheered as it rolled inside the post and Mistletoe cheered the most. He jumped up high, his face aglow. We cheered and we sang down below as we hugged and we kissed beneath the mistletoe. Do you know what mistletoe is? The little greenery you hang in your doorway. People are supposed to give each other kisses underneath it. This is a funny book that makes fun of um, songs and the things we do at Christmas time. This is also a new book. You can find it at the library, um, or you can call us and ask us to put it on reserve for you. And you can pick it up through the window um, if you don't want to come in the library.
There we go. So let us know if you want to borrow some of our new books um, or you're welcome to reserve a time in the children's room where it would just be you and your children. You could pick out your own books. Bye. Thanks for reading with me.